Hello everyone, it is VMP, and we are back, this time with some more The Banner Saga. It has been a few weeks since I've uploaded one of these, but uh, due to a few people uh, sending me messages requesting that I do some more of this, uh, I decided why not. I was actually about to uh, play some of it myself, but I wasn't going to record because I didn't think uh, people were really enjoying it, but apparently a few of you guys are, so here you are. Um, I'm glad to be able to get back to it. So, as we left off last time, the caravan halts when a group of men appear on the trail, weapons at their feet. We've seen the dredge in your wake, one, says one. We don't wish to meet them alone. If you'll let us join you, we'll show you a watering hole with enough animals to fill those supply wagons. An inherent fear of strangers raises mutters from the caravan. Hmm. Well, considering that they're leaving their weapons at their feet, I don't think they're much of a threat. Uh, but there's no harm in asking what they're doing out here alone. Uh, we were hunting for food when the dredge found our village. When we returned, he looks away, unable to finish. Okay. Alright. Um, if they have the, the animals like they say they do, I think we should allow them to join us. Why not? If you'll be no trouble, come along, you say. The men cautiously join your ranks and prove trustworthy. The hidden watering hole nearby is teeming with animals, and soon your supplies are nicely restocked. Ah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, plus 12 fighters. Okay, not bad. It's 5 renown. It's 18 supplies. Alright, so I, I consider that to be worth it. Huh? During a rest, one of the men get gets too drunk and end up splashing mead in a warrior's face. A brawl erupts, many thrown fists and a broken bone later. The instigator Raftnaz Fartir, okay, yep, I forgot about these names, <laughs> is tossed on the ground at your feet, angry clansmen looking for satisfaction. His personal defense is little more than drooling mumbles. Um, hmm, okay. So, coerce a public apology from him. That could work. Laugh off the scuffle. I'm not so sure if that would be alright. Encourage the others to let the issue drop. That's probably not going to be good. I'm deciding between tying him up. I think we got to make him say something. So, we'll do this. Make him apologize. Grabbing Raphnus Fartier's neck. We're just going to call him R if we ever have to uh, say his name again. You force him to look at the crowd. Apologize for this mess, you demand. The man babbles until you squeeze harder. Sorry, he yells repeatedly, even after you let him, you let him go. Folks shake their heads, but leave the man alone. Okay, what's going to happen? Alright, well, nothing negative, so I guess I can't complain too much. Uh, how are we... The caravan is visibly relieved to find a small village on the way to Frostveller with beds and fresh supplies. The locals here are shocked by the news you bring and discuss it amongst themselves while you set up nearby. Okay. Alright. Uh, weak morale, so we should probably rest here. What do we have here? That is... Map. Map. What do you mean by map? I'm not sure. Oh. Well, why do they have a... Doesn't make much sense. Why is there a village called... Or a, a building called Map? Alright. It's kind of a waste of time. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, we don't really care about the map. But it'd be like training grounds on the market. Heroes, rest, leave. Uh, heroes, what do we got going on here? Nothing. Nothing has changed, really, I don't think. Do we have a bunch of renown? So let's go to the market. How many days of supplies do we have left? Uh, seven. Hmm. Mm. What are these? Uh, alright. Plus one will per kill. Plus two drawing aggro. Five percent dodge strength attacks. And then Charm of the Wandering Mind, 20% uh, dodge strength attacks. Huh. 
I'm not sure if I want to spend 36 renown, or some of our renown on that. Uh, let's increase our supplies at the very least. And we'll get 10 days, 11 days. It's 21 renown. Uh, let's go back down to 10. That should be fine. Oh, we got plenty of renown. Never mind. Let's, uh... We'll get the rest of them then. We'll clean them out. So we have plenty of supplies. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll get this Charm of the Wandering Mind after all. A 20% dodge is pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that. And so we're still 13 renown. It's a decent amount. Uh, let's go back to our heroes and equip that on... Let's see, what's this? what does this do again? That's a 15% dodge strength attack. So this is actually an upgrade from that. So we'll give that to him. Oh, wait, whoops. Here we go. Uh, give that to him. And we'll give this to Alette, because I'm more worried about her than Old Leaf. Oh, can we not equip this? Oh, it requires level 2, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what it means. Um, hmm. See, but I really want... I really want a Let's Bracelet on Rook because that's really useful. Plus one armor, strength, and willpower. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to wait for one of them to level up, maybe. Even though that might not happen for quite some time. Uh, unless they finally start getting some kills. Okay, so let's rest and improve morale a little bit. Normal. One more day. Okay. Now I gotta get going. I don't want to waste too much. Uh, too many of our supplies. You're only just outside the village when two men in red approach. My name is Hogan, says one. Gesturing to the other, my brother is Mogan. Hogan and Mogan. Many from the village wish to join you to Frostveller. A third man, exuding rage, charges up to the group. Shut your mouth, Hogan. About to get into a fight. Oh. What's going on? These bastards don't speak for us. They've been trying to divide the village since you got here. True. You can keep whoever wants to stay and die, says Hogan. The rest of us will go with the reasonable people of Skoger. I'll have you both gutted before I let half the village desert. Behind the angry villager, a mob of armed thugs have appeared, all furrowed brows and nervous stares. You both know what will happen to the rest of us if the fields are abandoned. No one leaves. Um, I think it's foolish for them to stay. So I think the guys that want to leave should definitely be able to leave. If the other ones are foolish enough to stay behind, then so be it. That's their fault. Um, so we're going to say, let your people decide on their own. We thought that's how it went ourselves. A good number told me to my face they didn't want to be beaten by... Beaten to death by Dredge. Dredge my ass. I don't know what the scam is this time, Hogan, but you got two choices. Get back to work, or I'm finally putting you in the ground. Mogan, what do you say? Thought it was unfair that he only asked me? Mogan draws his hacks slowly, followed by Hogan. Despite their confidence, the brothers are significantly outnumbered. I think I make a poor farmer, says Mogan. I think we should help out the brothers, man. Because they seem like they could be capable fighters. And they're just doing what they want to do, okay? If they want to leave, then that's so be it. Ivor steps forward. The thugs hesitate. As you pull your axe, you notice the lead is nowhere to be seen. That's fine. We got this by ourselves. Actually, I'm kind of worried if she's gone or something. Hogan and Mogan. And really, the only difference is that Mogan has a scar. Uh, do we find out about him? What, are the, like, what kind of skills do they got? I'll put them in front of Old Leaf. Or Odd Leaf. Hopefully they're pretty decent. Okay, what do we got going on here? How many are we up against? They are just thugs, so hopefully they're not too armored. And when they aren't armored, we can generally take them out pretty easily. Uh, okay. Four and seven, five and seven, five and seven... Is that a let? No, that's just an archer. Okay. I thought that was archer. I was like, no, 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 please, no. Right, can we change who this guy is? Um, tell you what. Uh, what is? 
8 and 10, that's good. And another one is 10 and 8. Um, let's have him move right here. And he'll take care of them. He'll take care of her. Uh, meanwhile, Ivor is going to come back and take care of those guys. We'll have Rook head over here as well. This dude will help out. Uh, Oddleaf will just put right about here. Maybe she can help him out with that archer. Okay, let's go. Uh, hmm. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to hit him now, is he? Is it worth the willpower? Yeah, sure, why not? Get up close to him. Just short. Uh, is Kim battering ram? No. Alright, uh, enter. That's fine. What you gonna do, mate? Oh, wow. There's a lot of armor damage. Oh, he did some ar armor damage to himself as well. That's. Huh. It's kinda weird. Uh, okay, so Rook can go ahead. Which one is going to move next? Is what I want to know. This guy? Who is this guy? Doesn't say right. This guy, oh, this guy moves there, and then this guy is after him. Um, tell you what, you move up here. And kill that guy. Perfect. Take him down. Just need nothing special. Right. Kill. There we go. Sweet, you promoted. Oh wow, I didn't see these guys over there. That's okay, good thing we have her over here to help them. Uh and I guess Hogan, you're not gonna be going over here to help them. Uh, are, you, are you next? Yeah, he is next. Uh, luckily, he's not going to be able to get in range of anybody. So, you go ahead and start moving. How far can you go? You can go up to there. Alright, uh, you move then to... Let's say here. Okay. Now, what's this? Bloody flail? No. It's not good. Um... Okay, now uh, Andrew turn there then. This guy shouldn't be able to be in range of any of us. No, good. You can go ahead and finish off this archer. Although, wait, uh, when is this archer going? Ah, next. Okay, so instead we'll have you go over here and attack her. Spend some will. And then be able to get her. Yep. Strike. Very nice. They're still hurting the shield a little bit, but that's fine. Um, I need to four damage to her. Can you add willpower to that, please? Yep, for five, and that'll finish her off. Good. Achievement. Alright, uh, you are next, correct? Yeah, among those guys. Uh, so go ahead and wait. Same thing? Uh, maybe. I'll 
seven brother attack straight up. Oh, and kill him. Sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like these guys. Oh, he promoted. Good. Promotion for Rook. Promotion for Mogan. And... Oh, my. Ten Renown. Nice. That was very impressive. Okay. So far, so good. And now we're just going along our way. Uh, the brothers thank you with wide grins. Soon, many of the villagers have joined your caravan. You scan around anxiously for Alette, who has gone missing when the fighting began. Eventually, you find her watching from afar. Hogan returns at that moment, introducing you to his son and wife, and you soon set out again. I wonder if uh, Olette is angry at us for that. 165 clansmen. Oh, my. Oh, but they gave us a bunch of supplies. Too. Okay, that's fine. All right. Alette marches quietly alongside the caravan, a little distant since leaving the village. When you stop for a rest, Oddleaf approaches you both. Alette, I have something for you. Oddleaf has gathered up the long banner from the caravan and smiles warmly as she passes it to Alette. What's this about? I was hoping you'd sew up the banner with everything that has happened since we left Skogar. Come find me another time, Rook, and we'll talk. Before you can comment, she departs. Dad, are, are you the chieftain now? Uh... I believe it is. I believe we are. Um... I guess I'll have to find out later. Oh, then that means... You're both quiet for a moment and Alette unfurls the banner. Uh, do, do, is there like a tradition that we have to go with the old chieftain's uh, wife? Is that a... Is that a thing? <laughs> Oddleaf has been teaching me how to sew. She speaks pretty highly of you. Can we read the part about Mom? Says the lad. You nod. On the banner has been sewn the story of the families who have lived in Skogar throughout the years, just as is done on every banner in every town. I wish she was here, but I'm kind of glad she isn't. The section of your banner about your family is short, but Alette has been sewing in colorful designs. Why do you say that? So she doesn't have to deal with all of this, dredge, leaving home, and... Why did you have to kill those men? In the village? I mean, if it's okay to ask. Uh... It was a hard choice. Not really, but I think that's what Rook would say. Because the dredge are terrifying. Every time we have to fight them, I just want to run, but... I don't want to kill a person. Please. Are you mad at me? Alright. I'm glad she doesn't want to, but it is necessary at some point. I guess I would do it if I really had to. But, do we have to? I know what you mean. Yeah, I know. Dad, I think you're doing a good job. Oh yeah, we got a let's approval. She hugs you. You spend the rest of your time together sewing new verses into the banner. For better for better or worse, the story of Skogar is your burden now. Man, no wonder the banners are so long. That explains a lot. Oh, okay, so I guess we're going to have to talk to her. Where can I access my heroes? In here. Um, let's go to the heroes first. And promote these suckers. Alright, uh, yes, let's promote you. There we go. For 10 renown, we can afford that. And his strength is maxed out. Hmm. Oh, let's see, once again. Exertion, willpower. Um I think we're gonna go for armor. We might want exertion at some point, but for now we'll just do armor. And only three more kills before his next one anyway, so that's fine. Uh, Hogan, no, but Mogan, yes. Promote you for only five, that we can do. And 12 strength is pretty considerable. Did he change when that happened? Oh, no, I think his spear just uh, flowed majestically in the wind. Yes, that's what happened. Uh, Alright, good enough. Um, and this can go to Mogan then. And Mogan will go in front of Hogan. <laughs> Their names are going to be interesting, aren't they? 
can already tell. Okay, can we talk to... Oh, she moved. Hmm, that's interesting. How are you doing, Odd? I'm alright. Not at first. Sometimes, when a loved one dies, people say it, it doesn't sink in for a while. It, sun it sunk in for me right away. People tell me I'm a strong woman. It's funny. My father named me Oddleaf before I was even born. He wanted a boy so badly. Strong woman. What does that even mean? Uh... People look up to you sounds like a good one. Don't take this the wrong way, but I don't want to be known for handling my feelings. If I feel nothing about my husband dying, people think I'm strong. If I cry because my insides feel like they're on fire, I'm weak. Why does that feel so backwards? I'm sorry, Rook. It's been hard. You're not sure what to say. In the many years, years you've known the chieftain's wife, this is probably the most you've ever talked. You asked me to come find you? Yes, it's about the banner. I thought about it a long time. He asked me to give it to you, you know, if something happened. Um... Let's go with, uh, what would you have done? Because I think we generally know why me. He kind of wants us to be the next chieftain, I think. That's what I've been thinking about so much. It should be mine. I could carry it, but I thought about why he named you. I get it. They won't follow a woman. Families would leave. Our banner would be divided. Uh, I would vouch for you. Sure. I think we want Oddleaf on our side. Come on, Rook. This isn't the time for pretend. It's not just about our small town. What happens the first time we need something from another clan? How will that go? And the first time someone thinks they can take advantage of us. I think this is what has to happen. Mm. I guess it's inevitable. I'll do my best. I think so, too. Listen, I know I dragged this out. The truth is, my husband and I could never have a child. I don't want our banner to end here. It, it'll be safe with you and Alette. Oh, oh that's, uh, that's sad. I know you're going to take care of her. She puts her hand on your shoulder as she heads back to the camp. Ooh, plus five renown. Okay. Um, good morale still. Let's rest for a day just for morale and then we'll leave. Why not? There we go. Let's get going. At a small split in the trail, a few fighters stop to speak to you, each carrying a single pack. We recognize this place, one man says. Spent several years here with some kin. If they're still around, we have to warn them of what's coming. With luck, we'll find you again in less than a week. Uh... As much as I don't like to see the fighters go, it's only a few of them. So... Uh, let's just wish them well. You nod your understanding. Kin is kin, you say. You do what you must to protect them. The man claps you on the shoulder and the fighters depart. Because you don't have to leave with extra... Uh, no aid of them. That's why they're just a couple. You don't have to depart with more supplies. Complaints of ours, excessive drinking, have resurfaced. This man... This time the man stumbled over some tent ropes, pulled the snag canvas through the can through a campfire, nearly setting a supply wagon aflame. Clansmen put out the fire on both the wagon and R's leg before leading him to you. Yeah, he drinks nothing but water. That's a good idea. R groggily agrees, slurring his way through promises to quit being such a nuisance. Many of the onlookers snort or roll their eyes and go back to business. Somehow you'll doubt it'll, uh, it'll be long before R manages to find another drink, whether you'll allow it or not. Eh, well, that's great. Oh, well. Ooh, Frost Valor, we're nearly here. Aw, oh, great. Dredge! shouts the man from the back of the caravan. It's Wrath. It's R, the unabashed drunk, staggering towards you, looking not entirely sober. He screams again, pointing to the trees in the distance. Fear races through the caravan as fighters pull their weapons. Scouts return with no sightings and furious men surrounding R. 
Um. Well, the scouts said there were no sightings. So I don't think there's dredge. So I think if we just, for morale's sake, have to let the clansmen deliver justice, this our guy is getting to be quite a nuisance. A swift and brutal beating befalls R, one that leaves him begging for mercy. The next time he is offered me, the man shies away in fear. As for the rest of the caravan, everyone seems pretty satisfied. Good. It had to be done. And we're nearly to Frostbeller, finally. So Once a strong, thriving city, the walls of Frostvetler now just keep the howling winds at bay. With luck, they'll hold out against Dredge as well. Oh, there we are in the front. Yeah. Looks like some like a pretty decent sized town, I'd say. And they can uh, maybe hold out against the dredge. You jostle through fallow crowds of sunken faces who appear as though they've been freezing in front of Frostbella for days. The gates are closed. You come to a stop at the bottom of the hill. That's not good. <laughs> This is not looking good. Why are there so many people in the fields? We can't stay outside in the open like this. Oddly finds you amongst the many refugees. Rook, I've just... I just talked to some of the women here. No one is being let into the city. Why? It's overrun with Varl from Blotzbelker, Greyhorn, people from Bitra, and all the nearby villages. The dredge are everywhere. And the chieftain of Frostveller has locked inside, locked himself inside his great hall. That's when they close the gates. When the dredge come, these r hills will turn red. We have to get in there. Uh, where else could we go? With our whole caravan? South, but Sigurholm or Borsgard are so far away, they may as well be horse-born lands. The dredge are moving south. If we keep going west, we might get out of their path. Okay. Wormtoe is half as far as Sigurholm and full of varl. And across the waste, people, these people won't make it. Okay. I don't like any of these ideas. That's because they're all bad. There's no point in talking about leaving. We have to get in there. Alright. I agree. I do want to know more about what's going on in there. I see a lot of people gathered around the rest houses and, and the gates. We could find out what they know. How do we get in anyway? They close the gate. I can get that cage open. Yeah, had a boy, Ivor. Let's see if there's any other way before we start breaking down gates. I wasn't going to break in. Just push really hard. Had a boy. I like it. Heroes. Put a lot in there. Let's go ahead and let's go to the gate. Oh wait, mark it. Uh. I want to buy some supply. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Valka Thread. Plus one armor per turn. That's very nice. Oh, I really like the sound of that, but it's 20. That's just too much. We really need our supplies right now. We'll spend all that on supplies. Uh, maybe afterwards. After this fight. Which I assume is going to be one. You approach the gate where hundreds of people have gathered. In the trodden, bloody space in front of the doors, several pincushions, several pincushion bodies lie unclaimed as though they simply belong there. Archers up on the walls make it clear that nobody will be getting in. Men and women intentionally er, below intermittently call for mercy and reason when they're not flinging stones and curses. Uh, Ivor, did you really expect to push these gates open? I'm willing to try. Grunts Ivor, despite sizing up doors that looked like they could hold back an army. And when the men start shooting arrows and pouring out to you, then you kill them, he says. You're not sure this is the most sound plan. We're not doing this. This is a terrible idea. We don't even know how many there are. Ivor folds his arms. He seems almost relieved that he didn't have to live up to his earlier boast. Yes, exactly. Archers up on the walls make it clear that nobody will be getting in. Out the same as before. Uh, let's uh, find out more from the crowd first. You spend an hour talking to different people who have all heard, who all have the same story. A couple days ago, the chieftain shut himself in, closed the gates, and refused any more refugees. They've got huge stores of supplies in there too. Adds one man. They're just hoarding them. Now let's shout at the guards. 
We're from Skogar. Open the gates, you shouted to the archers, not expecting much. You get as much response as you expect. Right, we're gonna need to try something else. You leave the crowds and head back down the hill. There are a lot of people gathered around the rest houses, says Oddleaf, pointing. Maybe we can find help there, at least make ourselves useful. Okay. So, rest houses, huh? Just go to rest then? I don't like resting, but... It's necessary. You spend a whole day in the rest houses. Everyone gives you the same story. Chieftain just shot himself up, blah blah blah. There are a lot of wounded people here, adds Alette. We could help them. Okay. The rest houses overflowing with refugees and sick and wounded noise. Uh done to the wounded, why not? We'll be kind. Alette and Oddly spend the day along with others in your caravan, treating wounds, most of it most of which come or came from the archers at the gates. I overheard from one woman that the city has been sending carts with food around. Oddly tells you. Could be a way in. Next time they send a cart, we bring it back in. Oddleaf protests. Aside from leading to a fight, it would probably mean no more food from the refugees. <sighs> Let's uh I like this idea. Go ahead. You don't have to wait long. Early, early the next day, you spot a cart leaving the gates of the city. After they've thrown their scraps to the refugees, you make your move. Hey, we do what we gotta do. It's the way it is. This might be a little long episode, but that's the. It's just gonna be how it is. Uh, nothing. No one too powerful here. Let's move uh, Rook in as well. Let's go. Right there. Oh, this guy's tough. Um, hmm. This guy going first? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, so we'll hit him for a solid six damage. It's going to be effectively just as nice. Oh, he can do a lot of uh, shield damage to us, but that's not that big a deal. Let's worry about that. Now move. Can you keep pierce them, right? No, I can't. Um, but you can take out that dude. Who's this? Is it this guy? No. This guy is it. Um, go ahead and finish off this guy. I must wait. Yeah, finish off that guy. Huh? Uh, Mogan. You can come in and hit this guy pretty hard, can't you? There we go. And bloody flail. No, I just hit him. And mighty seven damage. I like it. I like it a lot. It's hurting. Not gonna be able to do much to us. Taking out some of our shield, huh? Okay. Uh, go over here, please. And then attack him. Six of damage, he's almost gone. Probably just gonna thrash on that, please. Uh, you start running forward, not much you're going to be able to do, right? Just 
barely finish off this guy, so we can go ahead and do that. Pretty threat. This guy not so much. A little bit of shield damage. So you're gonna go up and finish her off. There you go, Mogan. I like it. Shield damage to us. We're just gonna go ahead and clean him up. And very nice victory. How much are we gonna get for this? Nine. Not bad. That's gonna help us start to afford maybe that uh, new pendant thing. Not like this, says the leader as he falls. You gather the bodies, taking the shields with you for show. It'll be another fight when they realize what happens, says Ivor. With a cart in tow, you approach the gates which are drawn over for you. As Ivor predicted, er, predicted, as soon as you cross the gates, the guards see unfamiliar faces, panic, and draw their weapons, while refu refugees rush through the open doors. A man wearing black watches the fight from a distance. Alright, I think no let. And, or Oddleaf. Just so these guys can have more turns to fight. Yeah. Six here. Okay. Okay. Nothing we can't manage. Um. I think Rook should go over here and. Mogan should be able to handle those two. Though we'll keep his brother here just in case. Um. Actually, let's have them go here and here. Ivor a little closer. Actually, I want Ivor right here so we can move up on them. I don't think he's going to be able to reach them either way. Let's try that though. So let's move them here instead. So maybe Ivor's going to be able to reach them. Ah, no, we still can't. Ah, uh, damn. Um, who's first? Bad guy. Okay, that's fine. Let's have Ivor move up, I think. Do we want to have him wait? Oh, but there's that archer that's going to be out soon. Maybe Rook can take her out. Oh, these guys are going to be able to move all the way up to us. For that one, at least. Uh, tell you what, let's have Ivor just back up a few spaces so he can't reach him. Guy will move up, not too much. Uh, you, if you move here, can hit her, finish her off. You can also finish him off. Uh, I'm gonna finish her off, just so move here. Okay, take her out. <coughs> Ooh, promoted, nice. He's gonna run it up. Uh, who's this? That guy. Okay. You can reach him, and you should be able to take him out as well. So, that. Plus just one. Seven damage needed, so he's down. This guy's. Oh, good. Just out of the range of Rook. Uh, he's not gonna be able to hit anybody if we're smart about this. Okay. So, you, eight. Uh, not gonna be able to take him out. With that, you're gonna be just short. Ignore that guy. That's too bad. Uh, he's gonna be the closer one, so we'll have you move right here. Just hit him as hard as you can. So he's gonna be rendered pretty useless. Uh, you go up to. Oh wow, that guy is tough. Um, who's next? So that guy. Alright. And after that is that guy. So we will have... Tell you what, we'll have you go right here and take out that guy. Let's see some plan. Don't need to add any willpower to that. Straight up. Crush him. Alright, you need to 
do anything. All right. Makes sense. Uh, you can finish off this guy. Rook is really useful. That is like being able to attack with his bow at full strength is borderline overpowered. Um, so we'll just have Morgan go ahead and finish this guy off. Yeah. Uh, again. Done. So he's just gonna hit him for a little bit of damage. Uh, Hogan can run up here and get him to reach him. But he's gonna crush him here. And, oh, no turn. Attack. Finish him. Oh yes. Oh, and no promotion. Nice. Rook promoted. Ivor, or Mogan promoted, and Ivor promoted. Good. That's going to only cost us a lot of renown, but this should get us a nice bit here. Ten. Yeah, that's not bad. What in the depths are you doing, says a kill. Letting ourselves in. I see that. I'm very impressed. But all those people you just let in here? Dead. All those women and children with you? Dead. And thanks for killing the only ones holding this place together, Scal. What are you talking about? The man orders his guards to get the doors closed again before more refugees notice. If I knew there were fighters and a varl outside, I would have brought you in. I'm a kill. I'm in charge here. You heard about the chieftain? We've heard he's hiding out in the Great Hall. Oh, really? Think you mean hiding out in a grave? He's eating worms, if, it, if that wasn't clear. What happened here? Soon as they heard the dredge were coming, anyone who couldn't swing an axe got one to the head. That's the short story, anyways. Hmm. At least three clans in here warring over turf and food, and the worst are the godforsaken Varl. He eyes Ivor and shrugs with exaggeration, as if simply stating the obvious. We're in more danger here than out there? Look, I was in charge here before things went to crap. You've got some people who can fight. You've got a Varl who apparently has the strength of a god. Yeah, buddy. I can keep your flock safe in the Great Hall. You fight for me. And to take back Frost Valor. Okay. I don't take sides. Too hard to tell when the good guys have become the bad. Fine. Cut the sheep loose and watch your own asses. What do I care? All I want to do right now is get out of these damn streets. Think careful about what you want. I think we should join this guy. Good. Because whatever else you were thinking would have been a bad idea. Ikil shouts to his men, and with the gates closed, you follow him down obscure alleys. I hope we know what we're doing. Making it up as we go, Ivor. Okay, and I think this is going to be a... Ooh, chapter 3. I think this is going to be a good stopping point uh, for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll let you watch this little cutscene before... Oh, looks like we're switching parties once more. Heckin' we're back, says Mogra. I was able to... I was... Able to get about as many warriors from Strand as you wanted, and more weapons. Extra supplies, too. You perk up. Oh, a hundred vows, a hundred fighters, two hundred supplies. You perk up, just now realizing Mogra has been talking to you. Since Wagner died, everyone has been looking to you to make the decisions. It's exhausting. Hacken. I heard you. Hmm... I was saying the vial we sent to Strand has returned. The governor gave us most of what we wanted. Good enough. Much resistance from the governor? Some. I don't think he was happy about us buying his fighters using his own money. <laughs> he also insisted we take on a lackey of his to watch over his property. A man named Eric. Eric? I met him. He seemed competent enough. Regardless, the governor will have to get over it unless he wants Dredge crawling through his streets. We've put down every slag that has wandered through here while you were gone. Enough of flapping mouths. Oh, it's the prince. Enough of flapping mouths, then. You sure that wound has healed, Luden? I agree. Enough has already gone wrong. If something happens to the prince on a mission of peace, the alliance would rot. Or worse. Hmm. Yeah... 
muskets. We might want to have... Send the prince. Uh... It's probably not a good idea to order the prince around, so we'll let him make his own decisions. We would only be made to do this again later, and I will not suffer it all a second time. Either take us through the wandering road, or do your job and slaughter some dredge. My god, I hate this guy. <laughs> Ludin turns abruptly with a scowl. He stamps back to his ring of tents and followers. Wandering road's not an option with this many. I could crush that boy's skull in one hand. <laughs> If Luden won't be deterred, then you'll have to deal with it. Don't let Luden get to you. Let's go. I'm sick of looking at this dump. What do I tell the warriors, Hacken? Mm. Tell them to be cautious. No more losses. Okay. That sounds like a good one. Will do. Give the word and we'll set off. Alright, so... Presuming we get a chance to stop here. <laughs> we'll go ahead and end the episode off here. Uh, yep, yeah, looks like it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a pretty interesting episode, I'd say. Quite a bit of fighting, which we always love to do. Got uh, the Hogan Mogan brothers. I like them. They're, they're definitely going to be uh, an interesting addition to our party. So, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, whether you want to see more of this. I know this is probably not uh, appealing to all of you guys, but uh, to some of those... Some of you guys that are big role-playing fans, I think you might enjoy this. So, that being said, as always, take it easy.